Welcome sa course natin kung saan magsusolve ulit tayo. So, part 3 ng sample problems para sa topic natin tungkol sa sequence or progression. So, first problem. The number of bacteria in a certain culture doubles every hour. In this culture, there are 500 bacteria after 1 hour, 1,000 bacteria after 2 hours, 2,000 bacteria after 3 hours, and so on. Determine the number of bacteria in the culture after 8 hours. After how many hours will there be 512,000 bacteria in the culture? So dahil sinabi dyan na it doubles every hour, so therefore yung common ratio per hour is 2 or r is equal to 2. And then yung first natin, first term or after first hour is 500, second hour is 1000, after third hour is 2000. So first na hanapin natin kung gaano kadami daw yung bacteria or yung 8 term dun sa geometric progression. Dahil nga it double, so geometric progression. At yung next question, yung how many hours? So n at a sub n is equal to 512,000. So a sub 8 or the 8 term or number of bacteria after 8 hours. So, pwede natin gamitin itong formula nito. A sub n is equal to a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1. So, 500 times 2 raised to 8 minus 1. So, number of bacteria in the culture after 8 hours is 64,000 or a sub 8 is equal to 64,000. Next naman, n at a sub n is equal to 512,000. So, formula ulit, a sub n is equal to a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1. So, substitute lang natin yung nasa given. So, 512,000 equals sa 500 times 2 raised to n minus 1. So, solve natin, kunin natin yung natural logarithm. Or, divide muna natin sa 500, then kunin natin yung natural logarithm. So, ln ng 512,000 over 500 is equal to yung... Uh, exponent natin na n minus 1. So, multiply natin dun sa natural logarithm ng 2. So, n minus 1 times ln ng 2. So, natural logarithm ng 512,000 over 500 uh, over natural logarithm ng 2 plus 1. So, n is equal to 11. So, therefore, after 11 hours, meron tayong 512,000 bacteria in the culture. Next problem. In a family, the three children's ages are in geometric progression. When the youngest child was born, the oldest was twice as old as the second child. In three years, the sum of the ages of the second and the youngest will be equal to the age of the oldest. How old was the oldest child when the youngest child was born? So, sa ganitong age problem, mas maigi na i-translate ulit natin kagaya ng ginagawa natin na itatranslate natin siya into math. So, let a sub 1 equals the eldest. a sub 1 times r, dahil nga geometric progression. So, may common ratio sila. So, a sub 1 times r equals the second. Yung second child, age ng second child ngayon. a sub 1 r squared ay yung age ng youngest ngayon. No, a sub 1 age ng eldest ngayon, a sub 1 times r, age ng second child ngayon, tapos yung a sub 1, r squared, yun yung age ng youngest ngayon. So, ang sabi, when the youngest child was born, the oldest was twice as old as the second child. So, dahil nga youngest child was born, so that was uh, age ng youngest years ago. So, therefore, subtract natin yung age ng youngest dun sa oldest para makuha natin yung age ng oldest child uh, nung pinanganak yung youngest child. So, A1 minus yung uh, age ng youngest child ngayon. So, minus A1 R squared equal dun sa thrice daw nung age ng second child. So, yung age ng second child nung pinanganak yung youngest child ay A sub 1 times R minus A sub 1 R squared. So, yung isa pa, in 3 years, the sum of the ages of the second and the youngest 
will be equal to the age of the oldest. So in 3 years, so madadagdagan yung age ngayon ng lahat sila, no? Lahat sila. Tapos yung sum ng first at nung, and yung sum ng youngest, pati nung second, equal nung uh, age ng oldest. So yung second, so A sub 1 times R plus 3 plus yung youngest, A sub 1 R squared plus 3 equal na dun sa oldest. So yan yung equations natin based dun sa a problem. So yung required, yeah, A sub 1, ano daw yung uh, how old was the oldest when the youngest child was born? So yung A sub 1 minus A sub 1 R squared. So, kung gamitin natin yung unang equation, tapos simplify natin, no? So, finactor out ko lang yung a sub 1. Uh, both sides, sa left and right side, divide both sides sa a sub 1. So, yung matitira nila ang 1 minus r squared is equal to 3r minus 3r squared. Tapos, simplify natin. Magiging 2r squared minus 3r plus 1 is equal to 0. So, pwede natin gamitin yung quadratic formula. Na yung A, store ulit natin, yun yung 2. And then negative 3 yung B. Tapos 1 yung C. So input natin. So negative B, positive muna, square root ng B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So therefore, yung isa nating value is 1. Negative naman, so 1 half. So therefore, Uh, ang pwede natin common ratio dun sa ages ng tatlong uh, child, yung first or yung eldest, yung second, pati yung youngest child, ay pwedeng one or one half. Uh, kapag yung R natin is one, so makakatulad lang sila ng age, diba? Dahil yun yung common ratio. So A1 is, and then yung A1 times R, kung one, di A1 din yun. So, hindi pwede. So, therefore, R is equal to one half. So, gamitin natin yung pangalawang equation. Substitute natin yung value ng common ratio na nakomplete natin. So, A sub 1, one half plus 3. So, sinubstitute lang natin dito yung uh, value ng common ratio R dun sa equation, sa second equation. So, 1 half, so simplify lang natin, 1 half a sub 1 plus 3 plus 1 fourth a sub 1 plus 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3. So simplify pa ulit, so a sub 1 minus 1 half ng a sub 1 minus 1 fourth a sub 1 is equal to 3. So therefore, 1 fourth A sub 1 is equal to 3. Doing a 1 minus 1 half minus 1 fourth. So 1 fourth na lang yun. So equal to 3. So therefore, A sub 1 is equal to 12. Or yung age ng eldest ngayon is 12. So substitute ulit natin sa equation dahil ito yung required natin. No? Yung may value na tayo ng R, yung common ratio na 1 half, tapos yung value ng A sub 1 which is 12. So therefore, 12 minus 12 times Uh, one half squared, yung one half squared, one fourth, so 12 divided by 4 is 3. Or 12 times one fourth is 3. So therefore, yung kailangan natin, yung age ng oldest child when the youngest child was born is equal to 9. So madali lang. No? So next problem, an equipment costing 5 million pesos depreciates in value 16% a year. Find its worth after 8 years. So first natin. So first term is 5 a million. So ang sabi, after a year, we should be in sa second year. So A sub 2 is equal to A sub 1 minus yung 16% niya. Dahil nga na-depreciate siya 16% a year. So yung value niya, mababuha siya ng 16%. So yun yun, yung A sub 1 minus 6 term. 16% ng value niya initially. So start ng year na yun. So A sub 2 is equal to, or pwede factor out natin, A sub 1 times 1 minus 0.16. And then yung A sub 3, after a year pa ulit, after A sub 2, 
So, E sub 2 minus mababawasan rate ng 16% ng E sub 2. Or, substitute natin mga equation natin kanina. Para sa E sub 2, E sub 1 times 1 minus 0.16 minus 0.16 times yung value ng A sub 2 ay yung equation natin for A sub 2 kanina yung A sub 1 times 1 minus 0.16 factor out natin so A sub 1 times 1 minus 0.16 times 1 min minus 0.16 or pwedeng A sub 1 times 1 minus 0.16 so kung mapapansin nyo meron tayong uh, geometric progression tapos yung ratio natin Common ratio is uh, 0.84. So, pwede natin gamitin itong equation na to para malaman natin yung worth after 8 years. So, 5 million times 0.84 uh, raised to 8 minus 1. So, yung sagot natin, approximately 1,475,451.74 pesos. So next problem, the side of a square is 36 centimeters. The second square is formed by joining in proper order the third points of the side of the square. The third square is formed by joining the third points of the second square and so on. Find the side of the 25th square. So kating original natin, side of the square is 36 centimeters. Second square is formed by joining in proper order the third points of the side of the square. So, kunin natin yung thirds. So, yung isa, uh, yung point natin dun sa two-thirds or one-third yung isang side. Tapos, ganito yung nasa figure natin. No? Tapos, makakabuo tayo ng isa pang square sa loob ng original square. Para mabuo natin yung second square. Tapos, yung third square, ganun ulit yung procedure. So, kailangan natin ano yung daw yung uh, length or yung length ng side ng 25th square. So, makukuha natin yung length ng side ng second square or ng succeeding square. No? So, gamit yung Pythagorean theorem, yung right angle uh, formula natin. No? So, A sub 2 or yung length ng second square squared is equal to 2 thirds ng A sub 1 squared plus 1 third ng A sub 1 and then squared. So, simplify natin. So, A sub 2 squared is equal to 4 ninths plus 1 ninth ng A sub 1 squared. So, 5 ninths ng A sub 1 squared. So, kunin natin yung root. So, A sub 2 is equal to square root ng 5 over 3 ng A sub 1. So, familiar yung next na formula. So, therefore, uh, meron tayong common ratio na square root ng 5 over 3. So, therefore, geometric progression. So, ma-solve na natin yung uh, length ng 25th side dahil yung common ratio natin is square root ng 5 over 3. So, formula natin sa geometric progression, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, 36 times square root ng 5 over 3 raised to uh, 25 minus 1. So, therefore, uh, length ng 25th side is 0. 0311 centimeters. Next problem, a ball is dropped from a height of 48 feet and rebounds two-thirds of the distance it falls. If it continues to fall and rebound in this way, how far will it travel before coming to rest? So yung una nag-drop ng 48 feet. Tapos nag-rebound, two-thirds ng uh, 48 feet or 2 thirds the distance it falls. Ibig sabihin, uh, pag nag-drop ka, tas mag-rebound siya ng 2 thirds kung gano'ng kataas yung din-drop niya. So, syempre, dahil nag-rebound uh, ka, so bababa ulit to. So, gano'n ulit, bababa ng 2 thirds, 3 fourth. Tapos, mag-rebound ulit siya ng 2 thirds nung kung ano yung pinagbag sa kanya or yung kanina yung 2 thirds ng 48. Tapos bababa ulit. So, makikita natin, meron tayong uh, geometric progression ng pag-drop at saka ng pag-rebound. At yung common ratio nila, ayan. So, yung common ratio nila is 2 thirds. 
ng tutors. Pag-drop ka na din sa rebound. Dahil yung value natin. So, yung required ay yung how far will it travel before coming to rest. Ibig sabihin yung distance travel niya. Yung dinanote na lang natin dito as y sub total. So, total y is equal to ang ginawa kong formula 2 times uh, infinite geometric series minus a sub 1. 2 times infinite geometric series dahil Sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong infinite geometric series ng pag-drop. Meron din tayong infinite geometric series ng pag-rebound. So tulad lang sila ng value. Tapos, ang naiba lang, yung isa, meron siyang value for drop. Yung unang value natin na 48 feet. Kaya lang wala kang rebound na 48 feet. So subtract natin yung 48 feet which is yung A sub 1. So, infinite geometric series ang requirement para magkaroon tayo ng value. Yung absolute value natin for common ratio, dapat less than 1. So, satisfied naman yan dahil yung R natin is less than 1 which is 2 thirds. Therefore, formula natin para dun sa infinite geometric series equal sa A sub 1 over all, or all over 1 minus R. So, may value tayo para dun sa A sub 1, so 48, yung R 2 thirds. So, substitute natin 2 times 48 over 1 minus 2 thirds and then minus 48. So, therefore, a total distance travel before coming to rest is 240 feet.